Thank you, Lake. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Regulation Asia to invite me as a speaker in this event. My presentation topic is social media scams, when and dumb manipulation. Let me start by saying that the SFC is absolutely determined to tackle the increasing chance of when and dumb stock investment scams. In these scams, criminal syndicates use social media platforms to do the topic profit into frauds, which last large illegal profits for themselves, while leaving public investor with significant losses. These scams involve money laundering as well as market misconduct. And so we have worked closely with the Hong Kong police and other um, regulators and law enforcement agency. If the matter involves uh, possible bribery, we will also um, work with uh, the Independent Commission Against Corruption uh, under the existing MOU. Cropping down of these red and dumb scams has been one of the SFC top enforcement priorities. They now account for about uh, half of um, our market manipulation cases being investigated by the SFC. We also believe that it is important to educate the public to spot and avoid these scams. So um, let me start my presentation. So um, first of all, let me explain uh, what is the red and dumb scams. A red and dumb scam is a form of stock market manipulation where the scammers use different means to run up the share price of a listed company and then dump the shares to other investors has an artificially high price. These scams normally take place in three stages. First one is cornering and ramping. The second one is offloading. And the final stage is uh, dumping. Cornering and ramping. The scammers target a listed company which has small market capitalization, low market liquidity, and higher shareholding concentration. Purchase an, a significant portion of the target shares using a lot of nominees accounts to corner the shares. Those uh, we can see uh, from the aggressive purchase, purchase will significantly drive the share price. The second stage is the offloading. The scammers will offload the shares by colluding with uh, the um, accomplices to disseminate uh, favorable, usually uh, false and misleading information about the target company via social, popular social media platforms to induce um, investors to buy the shares. Um, had you, had you may know, um, we also hear about the uh, WeChat Girl or, or through the uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, other popular social media platforms. Uh, those scammers uh, will make use of this uh, platform to disseminate or to induce um, more investors to buy the particular stock so that they can uh, earn their uh, more profits from, from their scams. So this final stage is dumping. Uh, the scammers uh, will dump all of their remaining shares leading to a price collapse. Usually uh, the investor will, who fall into the scam will not be able to connect the scammers after the uh, price collapse. This slide show how the when and dump manipulation work. Uh, basically, um, you can see uh, in the, at the uh, center of this diagram, uh, we uh, sell the uh, fee stage, which I just mentioned about the uh, when and dump scam. Uh, the st uh, step one is about the syndicate use their own security accounts or anonymous account to buy a large quantity of uh, tire stock, has relatively lower price and push up the share pie. Basically, uh, in our, our experience, um, the syndicate will uh, use a lot of uh, Roman East accounts. Basically, they will recruit the Roman East, um, uh, such as a, a student, housewife, or other uh, like um, 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 construction worker, etc., to uh, to offer advantage to them and then uh, uh, to buy their land to open the account in different security firms or even banks. So uh, the step two is about the CDK, uh then induce investors to purchase the entire stock at high price via social media platform, which uh, I just mentioned about the um, maybe for, through the uh, popular uh, uh, social media platform like Facebook and uh, WeChat, um, Instagram, or other uh, 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 media means. 
And then the first one, the step fee is the uh, Cinec subsequently sold the share target sh stock at higher price to make huge profit. After they induce more and more uh, investors to buy the share, the genuine demand for the uh, particular stock will then be pushed up. And then the share price will also be pushed push up as well. So uh, has stage three, uh, uh, like the uh, offloading stage, uh, the, um, the Cinec will have um, um, more profit if the uh, demand and the share pie be pushed to the uh, pit of the uh, diagram. You can see this one, uh, step three, this one. And then uh, the uh, step four, the share pie collapsed after a large uh, sell-off by the CNK. Investors suffer a lot of losses as a result. Basically, uh, if uh, the CNK think um, uh, they have a, 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 a sufficient profit, handsome profit already, uh, they will uh, show all their uh, shares at one time to push down the share price and then uh, leading to the price collapse. So um, the source of uh, random cases, uh, there are four major sources uh, in our daily uh, 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 monitoring. The first one, which occupy over 90%, I think, um, is the uh, daily monitoring by, by our surveillance team. The second one is the self-reporting from licensed corporations. The first one is about public campaigns. And the fourth one uh, is uh, the referral from other regulators and law enforcement agencies. So uh, this is sample conversation about um, the, um, between the uh, scammer and victim. This is just a, a make up version uh, based on the uh, true story, but uh, the name and other content uh, it's just a, uh, a mixed up version. Social media when dumb scams involve a scammer setting up different investment groups on social media platforms and coming to offer investment tips or inside information to induce an investor to join the groups. Sometimes they call themselves as investment master or investment teacher and may even impersonate gen genuine and well-known market com commentators by posting their photos in the chat groups. On the other hand, the scammers will try getting trust from the victims as online fans. To convince investors to buy shares, the scammer may patiently work to establish a relationship with them on social media by making frequent contact on the pretext of friendship or romance. Once a relationship is established, the scammer may claim that they have inside information or investment tips about the listed company to induce the investor to buy the shares as inflated price. So uh, in this slide, uh, here is the uh, map version, as I mentioned, uh, uh, of sample conversation between uh, a uh, scammer and a victim. So um, we translate it in English uh, so that you can read uh, uh, clearly. Uh, basically, uh, this is what I said just now. Uh, First of all, the scammer will um, establish a trust as an online friend with uh, the uh, victim. And uh, for this one, uh, the, um, the scammer we call uh, through the WeChat uh, uh, called you. This is a lady. And she posts, uh, the, there's a, a photo of a pretty lady here to attract uh, the uh, victim. To add, uh, this lady has a friend in uh, uh, WeChat. So um, in this, uh, by starting uh, the conversation, uh, uh, the um, scammer uh, said that, oh, my uncle what had a top of uh, Hong Kong exchange or uh, 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 a, a, a senior executive in an investment bank and often often receive uh, some um, uh, investment tips or have uh, inside information about particular uh, listed stock. And uh, so um, the scammer will induce uh, or ask uh, the uh, victim to buy the particular stock at relative, relatively higher price. And uh, usually, um, the scammer will, will promise have a guaranteed profit with the um, uh, victim. So um, you can see this one. Um, the uh, scammer uh, asked the um, victim to buy at $5.07. And then uh, this is a very high price at the time. Uh, basically, uh, have you bought it set by the um, uh, scammer? Uh, once uh, this, uh, the victim say, oh, I bought it already. And then uh, the typical uh, features in our investigation, uh, we find that um, the scammer will always ask uh, the uh, victim to send the uh, uh, a screen cap of his or her purchase 
of the uh, of the transaction has a proof uh, to send the uh, scammer because uh, uh, this uh, uh, scammer is uh, why why uh, they need to do that because this is scammer just an employee of the syndicate of the uh, 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 random syndicate so uh, he or she the scammer need to have uh, uh, receive some uh, profit as a reward for for inducing uh, the uh, victim to buy the share. So um, that means uh, she uh, this uh, rich lady need, need uh, the screen screenshot from the uh, victim. So uh, very quick to go through the uh, legal and regulatory provision under the uh, Security and Futures Ordinance about these uh, rare and dumb scams. Basically, uh, this scam related to market manipulation. Uh, uh, involving uh, false trading, stock market manipulation, and disclosure of false or misleading information inducing transaction. This is a criminal offense uh, uh, investigated by the SFC. And uh, the maximum penalties uh, uh, are 10 years impeachment and a five of uh, 10 million Hong Kong dollars, as well as other sanctions. So um, uh, this slide show uh, the SFC uh, took the proactive approach uh, to tackle the random scam. Not only uh, SFC alone, but we collaborate with the uh, Hong Kong police and the uh, Independent Commission Against Corruption to tackle uh, the syndicate. Because uh, the syndicate uh, usually is a, a large scale and sophisticated syndicate. So um, um, the collaboration uh, between the SFC uh, with other regulators or law enforcement agency will increase our uh, efficiency uh, to come combat uh, the uh, uh, syndicate, uh, the serious crime, and also um, the uh, work of the SFC is to uh, protect the investing public. So uh, it will uh, increase our uh, efficiency and also um, um, uh, more, more, more effective to uh, tackle the syndicate. Basically for police case uh, 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 like this one, this, is, uh, this photo was taken from the uh, John Pass conference in March uh, this year with the police after the uh, joint search operation against the uh, a uh, large scale random syndicate. A total of uh, 10, uh, 12 uh, syndicate members were arrested by the police for the offense of uh, money laundering. And uh, the SFC investigation focused on the uh, market manipulation and other uh, market misconduct under the uh, Security and Futures Ordinance. And uh, uh, for the next day, uh, you can see uh, there are wide, wide um, media coverage for our joint operation. Apart from the uh, Hong Kong police, uh, we also have an MOU with the ICAC since uh, August uh, 2018, uh, 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 three years ago. We signed the MOU with the ICAC. Uh, had, you can see from our press release, uh, uh, early this month, we, we also have uh, another operation with the ICAC and, uh, to um, do a joint operation against a uh, random syndicate, which uh, the case uh, involved a possible bribery and also uh, market manipulation. As I said before, uh, not only for the enforcement action, but we believe uh, the investor education is very important as well. We collaborate with uh, investor and financial um, education council and also police uh, anti-deception coordination center uh, to uh, educate the investing public and also to remind them uh, to, uh, to increase their awareness of the uh, uh, random scam. And uh, we also invite uh, some uh, local famous uh, stock uh, commentators uh, to uh, speak with uh, the public to warn the uh, public about the women scam. Also, uh, we collaborate with the police uh, to do some outreach community community events. We can see the photo here. And also, uh, we jointly with uh, the uh, police, we have a promotion chart to send a strong message about our, our, our effort to tackle the uh, random scams. We also attend the uh, radio program uh, and other uh, Facebook live session uh, in order to increase the awareness of the uh, investing profit against random scams. Apart from the uh, uh, um, the uh, investor campaign uh, event, which I just mentioned, uh, uh, recently uh, in late June, uh, which is about one month ago, uh, the SFC issued a circular to our licensed uh, corporations uh, uh, to um, requesting them to notify the, to the SFC of suspected random and dumb scams and also um, to uh, raise some red flag for the uh, license corporation to follow. So um, those uh, red flags include, uh, amongst other things, first one is uh, 
uh, can't choose transition amongst uh, a lot in line with their reporting, reported financial profiles. And uh, can't regularly um, acquire shares through buy and sell notes and, uh, or who uh, large uh, third party deposits in their accounts. And um, third one is uh, the cars who bought shares on a delayed settlement basis, following which uh, the share price rose uh, substantively and uh, during the settlement period, and then gave instruction to sell the shares before the placement date. And um, also uh, the cars who uh, show a large volume of shares before a price collapse, which cannot be explained by uh, any corporate news. And um, there are two others uh, are, are red flag, including the fifth one is uh, can we authorize uh, uh, the third party, the same third party to operate their accounts? Account opening around the same day uh, are sharing the uh, same personal particulars. So it should be six one, this one. And also, uh, uh, we also um, looked at that uh, on some occasions, a group of clients with, uh, some of them uh, with the about trading behavior, trade in the same stock, in the same direction. Uh, and um, this should be um, alerted by the uh, license corporation. Once uh, uh, the license corporation uh, suspect uh, this uh, trading behavior uh, is very suspicious, uh, they should uh, report to the SFC uh, immediately. So um, this is all my presentation. Thank you very much. Once again, I want to thank uh, Regulation Asia for their invitation and arrangement. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for your thought-provoking presentation. I mean, a lot of these issues you've mentioned, I, I know, have been a challenge for a number of capital markets and regulators across the world. But before we move on, I was actually hoping to ask you a couple of questions. And the first one is, you know, how did the SFC discover these suspicious activities of, of ramp and dump syndicates? Okay, as I mentioned just now, uh, basically uh, over 90%, 90% uh, cases uh, uh, are referred by our surveillance team. Uh, the SFC has a specialized uh, surveillance team responsible for uh, monitoring the activities of the uh, stock market on real-time basis. And uh, we also take follow-up action on, on public campaigns, uh, sell report by bookers, and refer from other law enforcement agencies. Okay, so in terms of the syndicates, are these domestic syndicates or are you seeing cross-border activity as well? And if so, you know, which borders are they crossing? Uh, basically, uh, 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 um, as I mentioned before, um, we found some uh, local syndicate uh, collude with uh, some um, uh, syndicate like WeChat Girl Syndicate based in mainland China. But basically, um, um, the victim can be in other countries. But for, lang for the language, it's the only issue. So many of the scams uh, are conducted in uh, Mandarin or Cantonese. And uh, the target countries uh, therefore include uh, uh, mainland China, but also we find uh, on some occasion include uh, Singapore, Taiwan, even um, uh, Miss East uh, uh, countries as well. Okay, excellent. So it seems that it's very a very transnational kind of syndicates that are operating across these markets. I mean, what efforts has the SFC made to to tackle these rampant up schemes through these social media platforms? Okay, yeah. Indeed, uh, we have a specialized uh, team called a uh, special operation team to tackle um, the um, this syndicate uh, or, or the scams. And uh, we work. Uh, uh, we we have we structure our uh, team structure. Basically, uh, we have a, a, a market discount team. Uh, under um, uh, the um, senior director and executive director leadership. And then uh, we will uh, work very closely within the team. For example, uh, a surveillance team and special operation team uh, uh, belong to uh, the map business team. So we work together very closely, basically on a daily basis. Once the surveillance team dis discover any suspicious uh, trading behavior or trading pattern, uh, uh, the special operation team or investment team will work together uh, immediately uh, with our surveillance colleagues so that uh, we can have a very quick uh, reaction to those uh, uh, suspended uh, market misconduct. Okay, it definitely sounds like you're taking a lot of steps in integrating technology into your process, but I guess what are the common denominators of stocks touted or, or favoured by social media scammers? I mean, are they working in, t in tandem with the rampant dump fraudsters? Uh, are these main board? Are they small cap stocks? Are they from the gem market? What are, what are the common kind of commonalities across the, the, the types of stocks that are targeted? 
basically, uh, uh, we found some uh, relatively uh, small market cap and uh, a lower public flow. And um, also, uh, on some occasion, though uh, shares are on um, high concentration as well. So, um, but for the stock uh, subject to those uh, random scam, include both uh, link box stocks and gem stock as well. Okay. I mean, yet again, I, I'm just mindful of time. Last question from me is in terms of key themes, thinking 12, 18 months into the future, you know, given the audience that we have listening to you, what are the key things you'd like people to keep in mind from an enforcement perspective? And um, I think uh, uh, we need to um, be aware of the uh, uh, the features of the social media scam. And first of all, as I mentioned, uh, basically uh, they have a uh, common uh, features to induce people to buy the stock. So uh, if um, um, has from the uh, enforcement perspective, I think uh, once uh, we uh, have a very uh, sophisticated uh, or educated uh, uh, investing topic, uh, the scammer it's very difficult for the scammer to uh, induce people to uh, to uh, make them. Uh, uh, suffer losses, and then uh, uh, at the time uh, we collaborate with other uh, law enforcement agency, not only locally but also, uh, for example, uh, and um, with uh, uh, CSRC, China Security and um, uh, Commission. Uh, we work uh, very closely with them, and also other overseas regulators, because uh, uh, not only by ourselves, we think um, the collaboration with other uh, 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 regulators or law enforcement agency is very important to tackle this. Uh, uh, very uh, uh, high, highly sophisticated and um, high, a large scale uh, uh, random syndicates. I mean, it, it, it's really, really interesting uh, the challenges that you're highlighting because it's, you know, obviously clearly very, very cross border involving technology and moving, moving very fast. So it, it's excellent to hear all of these points. Uh, and unfortunately, we're out of time. So thank you, Jimmy Tong, Director of Enforcements with the SFC in Hong Kong, for your time and sharing your valuable insights with us today. Up next is our exchange panel addressing financial crime and abuse in capital markets. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.